Hey guys, Isabella from helpin.litter.org and I'm starting a new segment on helpin.litter called Isabella's Trash Tips and it's just going to be a series of educational uh, tips and tricks that you guys can do uh, at home or wherever you're at in order to help save the lives of animals in our environment. So let's start off with tip number one, flop, chop and drop. Nothing I'm going to show you guys in this tip is going to minimize the effect that this plastic is going to have on our society. Once plastic is made, it's basically going to be here forever. And sure, in a few hundred years, it'll minimize and break down into smaller pieces and become a part of plastic beaches. And yeah, plastic beaches are a thing. But um, what I'm going to teach you guys is how to minimize the like how to minimize the effect this is going to have on sea creatures, because. Usually uh, what's ha what, what happens is sea turtles or seagulls get caught in these little rings and then they'll suffocate and die. So we're trying to minimize that here, not the effect the plastic has on our environment. So like I said before, when a six pack or a four pack rings in this state, it could really hurt or harm an animal. So this only takes a minute of your time and it's super easy and it can even save an animal's life. So the steps are as easy as the name. You flop it, so you fold it over and you fold it again and then you chop it so you cut along the side that has all the tiny little holes in it, right? So just like that. And make sure to get a parent when you're doing this if you're younger because you can hurt yourself because they're scissors. Then you turn it like that and you fold along this, or you cut along this side. And then you open it to make sure that there are no other tiny little holes, like that. And now this can't kill or suffocate an animal anymore. All right, so the process for six pack ring is a little bit different, but it's still the same concept. So you flop it like that, except you flop this side over too. And then it's the same, it's basically the same. So then you fold it over again, just like that. So it's the same as before. And you cut along the side with the little holes again. I'll grab my scissors. Remember always to get a parent. You don't want to be using scissors without a parent around. And then cut again and make sure that you got all the little holes and then you're good. Remember, this can't kill any more animals but it's still going to be in our environment forever so that kind of sucks but until we find a solution for that, we have this. Hey guys, thanks for watching my first trash tip. Be sure to keep a lookout for my second one, Ties so They Don't Die. And it sounds a little morbid but when you see it, it'll make sense. Bye guys, stay tuned for the next video.